It's a common problem. You want to go on vacation, but you don't want your garden to look like this. Or this. So what do you do? I'm going to show you how I took this relay and a solenoid valve and turned it into an irrigation system using Home Assistant. This part's really important. So one of the major components of this whole operation is this quarter inch tubing and mist irrigation system, which I found on Amazon. In addition to the kit, I also had this sawn off relay sitting around that I wasn't using. So I ordered a solenoid valve to work in conjunction with that relay. For this project, I'm using the ESP Home add-on for Home Assistant because it ties in so nicely. ESP Home makes taking an ESP32 or ESP8266 device easy to configure with a simple configuration file which you can then compile. First thing I needed to do was add a device to ESP Home. Since that button is behind me, I need to move over out of the way. So we click on the plus to add a new node. In this case, a garden sprinkler. After that, I just chose the default device, the Sonoff device. I put in my Wi-Fi secrets and click Submit. And that's all we need to do for the initial setup. Next, we need to go in and edit the configuration file to make sure that all the parameters are there. Home Assistant, or ESP Home rather, put quotes around the secret of the Wi-Fi, so we have to take care of that, get rid of those, paste in my static IP address that I want to use, comment out this access point. Now, if you were setting up a fallback for your ESP device. You would go ahead and leave this in place and that way if it won't connect to your Wi-Fi it will have this as a fallback. I am not doing that however so I'm going to go ahead and comment all that out. Now here's information that I'm pasting in for um, the switch information. This is copied from one of the other switches that I've set up previously um, but it's pretty standard for this type of switch relay. Once I've got this all configured I'll click this save button that's right behind me. Over there. Okay now we need to validate it and it's valid so we'll go ahead and compile it. And now that it's compiled, I'll go ahead and download that binary into a directory where I can find it later. Now to upload or flash the sawn off, I need to use the ESP Home Flasher, which can be found on GitHub. You can install it. Once you've got Python installed, you can install it basically um, using pip, which is the way I did it. In order to flash the sawn off, I'm using an FTDI adapter. And I found with this particular model of sawn off, you need to hold the button by depressing it against the table, is what I'm doing, while you plug in the USB. Otherwise, it doesn't, um, it doesn't recognize that it's in uh, the state for flashing. And what will end up happening is even though I can select COM3 here, which is the right place, and I can select my, my bin file, I will get this error message here. Now, when I do it properly, it will flash like this, and it will go through and uh, erase the flash and then write the new flash in there, and then it will start to do logging. Once I had it all flashed, the next step was to wire it up inside a waterproof junction box that I also got off of Amazon. 
and then I attached it to the deck outside. So I've got the solenoid valve there, and here's the sewn off inside the waterproof uh, box. Once the power was all hooked up and it came online, I was able to go into Home Assistant, and lo and behold, new devices were discovered. So I configured it, it's got the proper IP, submit, and done. Well, okay, I had to select the uh, back porch first. And there it is. The next step is setting up the automations. And again, I'm in the way, so let me move. So in order to add an automation, you can click on Add Automation. We start with a blank. We're going to call this turn off the sprinkler because I already created one, uh, which I tested, to turn on the sprinkler. So I'm going to just basically follow the same steps, only I'm going to use a different time for the time pattern. So essentially what I did was I created a time pattern for um, the time I wanted the sprinkler to turn on. And then I set up a second automation here that will shut off the automation at a certain time based on when I want it to turn off. Okay, now that we have our automation set up, let's go outside and check them out. So here we are in the garden and you can see the light just went blue right there, the switch on the relay. And if we zoom in, you can see, I'm in the way again, that the water is running in the garden. Yay! So now, I can go on vacation, and I don't have to worry about all of my plants not getting water anymore. So just to recap, in order to get the garden irrigation system going, you got a quarter inch mist irrigation kit from Amazon. I took a sawn off relay that I had laying around, flashed it with ESP Home, hooked it up to a solenoid valve, and set up an automation that turns on at one time and a second automation that turns off at another time. So that way I can control it either way, uh, on or off, with uh, separate automations or I could turn it on from wherever I happen to be. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you found it useful, please like and subscribe. If there's anything I can help with, put a comment down below, and I'll try to answer if I can. Otherwise, have a great, wonderful, automated day.